I've got two different types of cabbage, and I do believe I have a couple of little Brussels sprouts here. These are Brussels sprouts, and they look identical. See, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, can't tell the difference. That's why I have the labels still in them <laughs> with their seeds. These are going to be going in the, in the ground here pretty soon. I can get enough soil to plant them in. And the dirt I'm going to be using is dirt that I've freshly made. It's similar to this dirt right here, but it's never been adjusted. And it needs, it needs to have its pH adjusted. Morning, morning. Morning, morning. I was just talking to my babies here <laughs> until they're going to get new homes pretty soon. They'll be happy. Yeah, I think that the tide is climbing now, so we should probably get, get cooking. Absolutely. We need to get the heck out of here. Matt's my oldest son, and he's back in country now for the summer. So we're going to take a little joyride down the coast to a little rock pile. It's about 15 miles south of here. On a nice day, it, it kind of reminds me of an atoll in the South Pacific. This is my absolute favorite time of year because everything is growing now, and it's not too warm. Perfect working weather. Absolutely. It's real important to me to be able to source my garden vegetables locally. However, most vegetables don't grow here naturally, so you have to harvest this bounty of shells that happens to exist down there. Put that in my garden and recreate the environment that they need to be productive. Well, that looks like a good spot right there, dude. Extremely approachable. <laughs> I can't see my feet. <laughs> Yeah, I feel kind of funny walking through this much uh, yeah, I Indian celery. You can just see how lush this growth is. It's going to be good for your vegetables, I can tell you that much. Well, I'm thrilled. Have you ever seen what they look like under a microscope, sandy beaches? No, I have not. That's amazing. Looks like the cosmos. These things seem thicker than the standard butter clam shells that I'm used to digging. So I'll bet you these are just really old, back from prehistoric times. I, you know, I never did the paleontology thing. Well, I had a little epiphany one night when I was laying in bed, uh, just thinking about, you know, the upcoming gardening season. And a little bell went off in my brain, went ding, ding, hey. You don't have to buy lime anymore. You can just gather up enough buckets of crushed barnacles, blue mussel shells, a wide variety of clam shells, remove all the moisture, put that in my garden, and raise the pH. So in the future, I'll have you know probably a lifetime supply. All right, let's head home. <laughs> <laughs> 